clean development mechanism. Yeah, uh, the clean development mechanism is uh, one of three or four uh, flexibility mechanisms of the Kyoto Protocol, um, and uh, the clean development mechanism, which is laid down in Article 12 of the Kyoto Protocol, um, has basically two functions. One is uh, to uh, provide a more sustainable development of the host countries, the non-Annex 1 countries, and at the same time uh, let the Annex 1 countries fulfill their obligations towards the Kyoto Protocol to reduce greenhouse gas emissions more flexible or uh, to, to uh, less cost. Mm -hmm. yeah. And. Uh, so in what sectors are CDM projects uh, going on in China? What yeah. uh, well, if, if, if you look at, at uh, the, the, the data, currently still most of the projects in terms of the CERs are in HFC uh, 23 projects. HFC 23 is, is a byproduct of the coolant, uh, HFC uh, 22, and has a high global warming uh, potential, well, it means that one ton of HFC 23 is as uh, uh, climate destructing <laughs> um, uh, 11,700 times more than one ton of uh, CO2. Mm -hmm. And currently, about what, two thirds of all CRs generated in China are still from these uh, projects. Uh, there are other uh, uh, types 7% wind energy, 6% uh, uh, nitrous oxide, 5% coal, that methane, and 4% hydro, and uh, some other, but currently it's still much concentrated on a few types of projects. But this is changing because um, uh, the Chinese government would like to have them uh, channeled towards those sectors or they. Uh, see their development um, priorities in uh, energy efficiency, fuel switch to renewables, uh, uh, methane recovery, uh, uh, project like this. And uh, the Chinese government had an, um, a new mechanism to channel this uh, by um, taxing the CERs, the HFC uh, 23 projects or HFCs they are taxed with 65%, uh, the nitrous oxide with 35%, uh, uh, sorry, and the others only with 2%. And so uh, the structure of the CDM project already changed. Currently, or in, in the pipeline, if you look at the projects in the pipeline, there are now 22% hydro, 20% energy efficiency in industrial power generation, 12% fossil fuel switch, 12% coal bed methane, and only 12% HFC projects. So it's more evenly distributed. Okay. Um, what are HFCs used in? I mean, there was the Montreal Protocol mm -hmm. that, that shut it down I mean, years ago. Um, what, are, what, are, where, in what areas are HFCs are still being used? It's, it's, it's a byproduct of a coolant in, in refrigerators mm -hmm. and okay. appliances. And uh, has uh, China been getting a bit of heat because they're, they're using so much money into dealing with the problem that, that most countries or most developing countries have already kind of dealt with without using CDM money? Uh, well, um, China as a um, um, developing country uh, has no obligation towards the Kyoto Protocol to reduce uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Mm -hmm. and uh, via this uh, mechanism, it could help mm -hmm. uh, to reduce these emissions. So this is a, a perfect okay. way. So how, how are they clean? Are, are they using um, different coolants, or are they using? How are they getting rid of these HFCs? Well, these um, uh, they, they are uh, basically burned. I think with the high temperature, and uh, so it's uh, destructive. Oh, but it's 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 not um, it's not very high tech this um, technology, and um, China would like to have the CDM as a technology transfer mechanism 
uh, with a uh, high level, so high tech uh, technology transfer. And so uh, this HFC is not very much in this high tech sector. So um, the projects which are now uh, prevailing are more in that sector. So they're using the high technology to store it or to break it down into something less? No, no, no. no it's switched away from this HFC right, right. Uh, project. Yes. Yes. Is there anything else you'd like to say about the CDM and the work you're doing here in China? Well, I think uh, CDM is a, a perfect means to uh, include China into this um, uh, climate change uh, uh, mitigation uh, process. Because currently um, China and other developing countries such as India or Brazil, um, they do not have a... Um, uh, a quantitative obligation towards uh, the Kyoto Protocol, uh, but they are responsible to a very large extent for the future or the additional uh, CO2 uh, emissions or greenhouse gas emissions. And if you can include that into this um, CDM, which is a win-win situation for all the partners, then it's uh, for the current uh, time a very um, effective means to uh, promote uh, CO2 or greenhouse gas emission reductions. Good. Good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>